Hi everyone, hope you are having a good day. If you are new here, my name is Arif Hussain. I build open source dev tools and share my learnings through content. One of the projects I'm currently working on is called Retro UI, which is a React based UI library. If you have used Retro UI before, you probably know the way you could install these components is just following along uh, these instructions and copy pasting this code into your project. But I recently added this feature where now you can install Retro UI components through CLI. You just copy this command and paste it in your terminal and it should pull all these dependent files in your project. It was possible thanks to Shatsian registry, which is a really cool feature by Shatsian that lets you distribute your custom components, hooks, pages, and other files through Shatsian CLI. In this video, I'll share how you can implement this feature in your own project. So make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And yeah, let's get to it. So here we have a Pokemon app. You might recognize this from past videos. I have three custom components here, uh, this Pokemon card, this button and this input. Let's say we want to distribute these components through ShadCN. For that, the first thing we should do is create a registry or JSON file in our root project. This is where we need to list all our custom components um, following a specific schema. Uh, to see the schema, you need to visit the docs. Go to get started. And here you can see the registry.json. Let's just copy this. Uh, so here you can see the schema URL. You can leave it as it is. It will help you to make sure your schema is uh, in correct format. Let's give it a name called Pokelogs. And on the home page, you should give your website URL. For now, we'll just use localhost. And now inside this items array, you can list your components, hooks, utility function, pages, or whatever you want to distribute, right? First, we'll try to distribute this button and then we can do the card and input. Let's remove this. We'll have an object and each of the item will have a name. Let's call it button. And because of this schema, it will suggest you all the options you have. So you can also pass the author name, categories, uh, dependencies. Here you can list all the dependencies your component have. So for this button component, our dependency is Redix UI. And class variance authority. Next you can pass your type. Which is a component. And obviously you can see all the options from the docs as well. So if you scroll down here, here you can see an example. We have added this tree. Description is optional. We need to add the file locations. So let's add files. Here we'll give the path. And inside the path, you give the location to uh, this component, which is components slash UI slash button dot TSX, which you can see is here. And then we'll pass the type, which is component. One more thing you should add, this is optional, but I think it's very helpful, is target. The path is the location of your component in your own project. And the target is where your files will be placed when users install this component. So for us, uh, let's give the path of component slash pokelogs so it doesn't conflict with users other components. Uh, sorry if it sounds confusing now. I think when we'll show the demo, it will make sense. For now, just follow through .tsx. And that should be pretty much it for initial configurations. Now let's move on. You need to add the Shatsy and CLI in your project. Let's copy this. Now you can just run npx shat cn build. 
and you can see the building is complete and now if you go to your project go to public there is a new folder created called r open this and you can see the button.json file so this file is generated by shatsian uh, it will create files like this for each of the items since we have named this button uh, this file name is button.json and here you can see this content where shatsian just pulled all the content from your file and place it here uh, you can open your button.tsx you can see this is the exact same code as this so it means everything worked now you can use shatsian cli to install these components so let's try it out copy this command so here you just pass your component location since we are also running in localhost 3000 we will leave this as it is and instead of hello world it will be button.json enter and it's installing the dependencies and it made a new file in this location if you go to your project you can see there's a new folder called component inside component we have pokylogs and a button.tsx file which is exactly the same file that we had here now i did intend to put it inside components but i think we forgot to add the s here add this save build again px add cn now this time uh, it is installed in components so now we have a ui folder for all regular components and a pokylogs folder for all the pokylogs component right so let's just delete this let's create one more for input call this input and for dependencies there is no dependency so let's remove this type is component path is input and the target is same but it's in build again now you will see there is a new file input.json in registry and we have the content here so we can install this you can see the new file is created so if you go to pokylogs see a new component and that is pretty much it i love how shatsian made this thing so easy to work with and when you are done with all this work and go to production just go to your registry and here replace with your actual domain like if your domain is i don't know https retro ui.dev when you try to install it just replace localhost with your actual domain is https retro ui .dev. and that's all for this video make sure to check out retro ui .dev and leave a star on github if you like the component and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye bye